trying to get that curve more and more pronounced. Even squeezing your arms a little bit here. So what we're doing now is engaging the lower abdominals as well. You should feel this in your obliques as well, just down the side. Point that toe, make it look pretty. Just tiny pulses towards that opposite shoulder. Keep that C curve. Side to side, tapping, tapping. If this is too much, then you don't need to bring your elbow all the way to the ground. But if you can, hold your legs and your hips and everything steady, squeezing your legs in towards those shoulders, crunching through the abdominals. Squeeze. And you're rotating from the hip, bringing those thighs down to the floor. Push your chest towards that knee. Tapping the floor. Tapping. Eight, seven. Think about blowing the air out at the top of the movement. You're twisting your hips. You're not moving your upper torso. There's not much more to go, so I want you to really burn this out and up. Hold that tummy in. Do not let go of that tension in your tummy. Forward and up. So you're rolling your body. Little circles, keeping your arms extended. Tiny little switches. Whittling away the waist. Nice deep breaths. And push up even further. Use your hips now to push up to the ceiling. And now coming up. And leaning the other way. 